Hey everyone, welcome to an overview of Swedish Skies, a game made and even named by Gemini. This game was born at the Google Cloud AI Hackathon in Stockholm. Full Throttle team participated in the gaming track, which focused on innovative uses of AI either in gameplay or during development. The theme? Sustainability and environmental awareness. Remarkably, Swedish Skies was brought to life in about six hours using what's called vibe coding with Gemini Pro, meaning not a single line of code was traditionally handwritten. Getting back to the game itself, what is Swedish Skies? It's a low-poly flight simulator where your mission is to combat wildfires. You'll pilot a simple aircraft with intuitive controls. Use the up and down arrows to control pitch, left and right arrows to roll, and A and D keys to control the rudder, and shift and control to adjust your throttle. The game world is inspired by a map of Sweden, featuring 19 of its largest cities and their airports. Need to get your bearings? Just press M to pop up the minimap. Pay attention to the info panel at the top left. It displays your plane's GPS coordinates. These are aligned with real-world locations, so the in-game cities match their actual geographic positions. Here's a cool AI integration. Press U and the game sends a prompt to Gemini Flash. It then fetches the current real-world wind speed, direction, and the closest weather station to your in-game GPS coordinates. You can even Google the weather station name to verify the data. Now for the action. When flying at a suitable altitude, press T to spawn a wildfire nearby. And watch closely. The fire realistically spreads based on the wind data we just fetched. For example, if the wind is coming from the northwest, you'll see the fire advance towards the southeast. It can get big pretty fast, so what's our plan? Fortunately, you're in a firefighting plane. Press G to drop water and tackle those flames. Run out of water? No problem. Fly low and fast over any lake to refill your water tanks. And if your fuel is low, you'll need to land at an airport and press R to refuel. That's the core gameplay loop. I hope you'll enjoy playing this little firefighting game. And on a more serious note, just like in Swedish skies, most real-world wildfires are caused by human activity. So please, always be mindful of nature when you're enjoying the outdoors. Thanks for watching.